You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the next snow cone maker in our snow cone maker series. This is the Disney's Mickey snow cone maker. Both say ages four plus. Both are Mattel. Now they are numbered differently. This one's saying number eight six four eight. This one is saying number six three four four. Now, neither have a year on the box, but if I was to look at the two, I would definitely think the one on the right is a little bit older than the one on the left. And then uh, the rest of the box really doesn't have much information on it. Just kind of says, have fun making tasty snow cones. Kind of the same thing here. So maybe just rebranded. Back of the box really has no other real information on there, so it's kind of the same. And then... That's really it. There's no other information as to a year or anything, even on the instructions. So when I come back, I'll show you uh, both of them. We'll check them out, see if they're both the same or not, and then we'll uh, go from there. All right, so here are my two Mickeys. Now, they are both stamped, made in different countries. This one here is in Thailand on the right and China on the left. But otherwise, they look pretty similar. A couple little differences maybe in the plastic, but overall... I would say they're exactly the same. And then they each have their little hats, which would go up here on this one, and then up here on this one. And they're put together exactly the same way. Now the one on the left was complete with the little Mickey ear spoon and cup. So I'll move that out of the way. I think I'm gonna use both of them today, but I just wanted to show you and also check for myself to see if there's any differences between the two. And I don't really see any. So let's get this one here. So first thing first is you put in your cutting wheel okay and there's this spot on the ring there's this little line right here you gotta match that up and that kind of locks in the next piece then this you'll see a spot where a screw goes and one there you kind of just twist this in place and when it's locked in it's set then you put your handle on that's got to snap in once that's snapped in you're good to go, put your screw in, and you are set. You just gotta have a screwdriver to do that, there it is. Okay, so that one is done. And you could just see the plastic is just a little bit different type of plastic. Okay, that one is ready. Okay, so the same thing for this one, we'll just follow those same steps. And this way I can, uh, ah, now we see that this little ring area Let's check it out from this way and see if it's exactly the same. Okay, yeah. So there was no reason to go, ah, because it is. And then this goes in, you find the hole, lock it in. Okay. And then once that's in place, set this in. This plastic almost seems to be softer than that plastic. That's what I was saying about the plastics. Okay. And then the screw. So I am set. I have two machines to work with. So I don't have to wash it as much. Okay, that one's good to go. Let's test it. It's ready. All right, so when I come back, I'll have my surface changed here and I'll show you what we're going to use to make our snow cones. All right, so here's the two I'm going to make today. I'm going to do the Fudge Pops, which got real Hershey's in it, and then the Jolly Rancher Watermelon and Green Apple. So I'll make one in each, and we'll test them out. Now, we've had a lot of requests to make something chocolate in a snow cone. So if you don't have these, I guess you can use maybe, you know, a hot chocolate-based mix that uses water and chocolate that you can mix up and then freeze, or maybe chocolate milk. And you can use any kind of flavored ice cube or just ice cube with no flavoring and then add your own flavorings. And I noticed when I was washing this, even inside the cup has the Disney Mickey ears on it. So let me do, let's move the Jolly Ranchers off to the side. Let's do the chocolate one first. So we're going to save you, we'll save this Mickey for that. So let's bring this Mickey in here. This is going to come out. Let's get these out of the box. Look at that up close. Doesn't it look good? Mmm. Flavorized fudge pops made with real Hershey's cocoa. Freeze and eat. So we should be able to just put these right in and then shave them right out. Let me get three ready. 
and I'll use the cup that came with it. Okay? And I'm all set. Here we go. So I just cut the ends of these off. I've had them let them sit out just a little. So they should be ready, and they are. So I'm just going to take it like this. Put one in here. And we'll see if it's going to work. Break it off. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put two in there just to start with. Looks like it'll fit. And it's a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It looks good. It doesn't look like total ice. It's almost got a fudge-like consistency to it. So here we go, which makes sense. Let's see how this works. Here we go, Mickey. Oh, that went fast. Pushed down real easy, too. Yeah, see what I'm saying? It doesn't have, like, a total ice consistency. Let me just try it real quick. Ooh, it's super good, though. Let me put more in there. And let me cut some new ones. So that was three. It's almost like... A fudgesicle type of dessert. Okay, so there's two more. So it's almost not shaping it, it's just kind of like smooshing it. Okay, let me see if I can load this in my cup. Oh, it reminds me of like a thick pudding. Let me do a few more. I want a full cup's worth of two more. Here we go. They're good, I'll tell you that. But I'm not sure it's icy enough. With the chocolate, it might just be too creamy in a way. Does that make sense? Okay. This will be the last ones for this test. That's super easy. You don't get a lot of icy chunks. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so now we know it's not what I was really expecting. Taste-wise is good. Consistency-wise, a little different than what I was thinking. See? It's very cold because it is icy. But mm, it's good, though. All right, let's... Uh, wipe up here a little bit and let's bring in number two okay and then I'll use my own bowls for this so I'll bring in for this okay I happen to have a nice little yellow bowl and let's open these up and give these a shot so this says freezer pops in green apple and watermelon so I'm guessing these are gonna be a little bit more icy consistency Let me do the red first. So I'll do three reds and we'll see what we get out of it. They just have a different consistency and feel to them. Let's cut the ends off. Okay, let's take the top off. Do you want to see a top down? Here's what I'm doing up here. So you can kind of see it. So I'm going up here. I'm squeezing these in. Yeah, now this is, you could just hear it, it's crispier and icier, isn't it? Mm. 
And I think that's good. Uh, maybe I could squeeze one more right there. Okay, there we go. So now this should work better. I'll keep you up here and I'll just grind it. Okay, see, totally different sound. All right, so that's ready. So we'll put in our hat. See, that's the sound I'm thinking of when I think of something shaved. Here, let me do that again. Move it in here. This one had a loose handle on the back. I think that's what came off of that. Yes, that's the sound we want, isn't it? That's perfect. All right. Now I need a spoon for that. Ooh, I have my shovel handy. I'll use my shovel. Okay, that's the handle that's coming off the back. I'll show you that. This piece should be held on with something inside, but it's missing on this one, but it still works. Let me break off another one in there. And then I'll do it, I'll do one more. We're here now and we're experimenting, so. I can't tell you the next machine is a very old ice shaving machine. You'll like this one. It's very unique. It's next on the list. Oh no. Spilled some down Mickey's front side here. Try to keep it clean. All right, here we go. Wow, and it's falling right in my cup perfectly here. Ooh, this is gonna make a nice one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I wanna do a little bit of cleanup and then I'll come back and do the green one. But this one looks good, so I'll set this there and I'll be right back. All right, so it is all clean. I just gave it a quick rinse. I'm gonna cut up four this time. And yes, you could eat these just like this. So here we go. Ooh, I gotta turn it just a little here. Make some room, okay. So it seems like two at a time is probably the best. I shouldn't do more than that. Here we go. The green. Smells good. Okay. Let's scoop some out so we can make some room for the next batch. Two more. So I'm not moving the camera up and down just because uh, I showed you up there. It's a little less up and down, up and down. Hopefully better on your eyes and be constantly moving around. Ooh, that's tasty. Green apple's good. Okay, there's a nice amount, scrape it all in, all right, I'll be right back and then I'll have all three out for you and then we'll take a look at them. All right, so here we go, this is the fudge pop one and I showed you that one, it's been sitting a little bit so it has melted some, but it still has like a pudding. It is super tasty and it's chilled, it's almost like a chilled dessert 
And then here is the watermelon. Let's take a closer look at watermelon. I'm going to eat it right off of my spoon. Ooh, I like watermelon. So this is more like a snow cone. The consistency, you heard it when it was, you know, being chopped up in there and shaved like a shaved ice. I think I like the green apple the best. So there you go. Mickey, you did a great job. It's the Disney's Mickey Mouse Snow Cone Maker with Fudge Pops and Jolly Ranchers. So what do you think you would like? Would you still like this even if it was like this consistency or not? And did you hear the difference between the two, how they worked out? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more videos where I use different kinds of ice shavers, then look in the description for a playlist. Or as always, you can search Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.